Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com on a cloudy, rainy day in South Central Texas. I'm broadcasting from San Antonio. And you can see I've got a lot of shadows behind me because I've got a little bit of a lamp going here. Typically, I have a lot of great natural light coming in the window. Like I said, it's a bit uh, cloudy, overcast, and uh, we have rain, which is always a good thing. Um, I know that some of y'all are in wet climates. Yeah, that's not the case in Texas. So we have, uh, we're in a semi-arid area here in San Antonio. And so we are um, always needing rain. And I know I keep looking down. I'm actually getting my, um, my um, what do you call it? <laughs> my computer. <laughs> Booted up and ready to go here so that I can see what y'all are saying. And also... Once I bring the camera down, I can see what you're seeing so that I'm giving you an accurate uh, depiction. Hey, Jackie, I'm glad you're here with me. I am, uh, I ran just a few minutes late today. Oh, and Susan is here along with Michelle and Darlene. So they're having a little crafty time together. I think I probably know this has to do with Michelle has like uber skills at organizing and helping to de-stash craft spaces. And she has been helping a number of folks do that. So I think that's probably what they're up to today. Um, so yeah, I ran a little bit behind, just a couple of minutes. Um, I had totally forgotten that I had scheduled um, FaceTime with my son and my grandkids that are in England. We always have to schedule that because of his work schedule and you know six hour time difference and, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, kids naps and everything, so. Um, Anyway, I'm so glad to be here with you. And um, my other son is here at the house working today on, you know, the reality of modern life is so many of us work from our laptops, so we kind of move, we kind of work from anywhere. And so um, my husband's out of town. Tim decided to come over here to work today and uh, treated me to, um, I'm up here, you know, trying to, get everything ready and uh, he brought me chicken salad on, uh, sorry, egg salad on, on lettuce cups. So I had my healthy um, lunch uh, prepared and delivered on a lovely plate here in my studio. So, so I have eaten and uh, that's a good thing because that way I'm gonna be cogent and focused and ready to go. I have a fun project for you today. Today is day four of my week, sorry, weekly, my daily Facebook Lives that started on Monday. So I'm doing seven days of daily Facebook Lives. And um, so yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this computer up here on my little shelf. And then I can get down here to my workspace. And we are looking at designer series paper again. Uh, you know, I've been featuring celebration products all week because this is the last little time period that we have in which we can get celebration products and um, celebration are free products you can get with every 50 to 150 or 100 dollars that you spend and uh, both of these paper blooms and uh, field and flower are papers that you can get free with a 50 dollar order and that's what i'm working with today um, there is an additional set of papers here, this beautiful ombre paper that you can also get with a $50 order. Hey, Diane and Diana, I'm so glad you're here. And Sue, welcome. And then we have Berry Blessings, and this is one that is paired with a beautiful, beautiful uh, stamp set. And you can get the two of those items together for free when you place a $100 order. So let me just give you a quick review of where we're going or where we've been this week. It's been a fun week with daily Facebook Lives. And so let me just show you where we've been. Monday, we kicked off. Hey, Gail, I'm glad you're here. Monday, we kicked off with a fancy fold that celebrates designer series paper. And this was working with that berry bundle that I talked about. Um, where you get the, um, 
you get the paper and the stamp set together for free when you have a $100 purchase. Yes, Diane, the egg salad was fabulous. One of my all-time favorite things to eat. I think I could eat it every week and not get tired of it. Um, so this is just a sweet little fancy fold, really quick and easy, great way to use designer series paper. One of my absolute favorite products to use, kind of gives you a color scheme all ready to work with. Um, beautiful designs. These are actually hand painted by our concept artists. Beautiful front and back. So either way you open it, it's gonna be beautiful. And these were just fun to make. I have been giving you instructions with um, score lines and cut lines and everything like that. So if, you, if you're looking for one of these, there you can just scroll down. I've also uploaded them to YouTube and they have the, um, the little inspiration sheets attached. So that was a Monday. Tuesday is always Teach Me Tuesday. Uh, it, on a regular week, it's Teach Me Tuesday. And I decided to go with an updated version of the Triple Time Technique. I say updated for those of us who've been stamping for a while. This is a layered technique, layered paper technique, that is typically done where you stamp uh, this layer. Well, I wanted to kind of make it a lot quicker. And I did that by using designer series paper. Hey Velma, I'm glad you're here. And Simone, welcome, welcome. We're just doing a little recap of the week. So this was to Teach Me Tuesday and all the measurements, everything are on uh, my blog, on my YouTube channel. And I think they're here as well if you just scroll down a little bit. Yesterday uh, was Wednesday. And I took a card I had done at my um, local face-to-face -face class here on Tuesday. And um, hey there, Kathy and Peggy, welcome. And I took this card that had been a favorite, very simple card, and um, wanted to kind of expand what we could do with cinnamon cider during the spring. I think it's a, cl it's a um, color that we often attribute to the fall season. Well, when we added these little um, petal pink flowers, it really kind of lightened our whole color scheme. And then we took that same, if uh, we took the cinnamon cider and the early espresso, and this time we added in a little bit of, well, actually quite a lot of um, so saffron. And then we also did another version using um, soft sea foam. And we did a little matching envelope with each one and these were super fun. I think uh, we had uh, not a clear favorite. People had their particular favorite. Some people were more um, really like the green. Soft green, I would have never, you know, really put these together. But we were using the Stampin' Up! Um, color combo. Um, little palettes that Stampin' Up! gives us, and um, that is how we were able to get those color schemes. So yes, I think that green is really getting bleached out by my artificial light here, by, uh, by my lamp. So um, yeah, that looks better when I put it over there. So um, these were very fun, very quick, very easy to do, and we used just a little bit of designer paper here and use the rest of the six by six piece over here. So thank you so much to those of you who are sharing my video. It helps me a ton and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, welcome, Geraldine. it's great to see you. So let's see what we're gonna do today. Today is, every week I do Teach Me Tuesday. And Teach Me Tuesday, I'm sorry, ay, 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 ay. Um, every week I do Simple and stepped up on Thursday. Today is Thursday. Like I said, my husband's out of town. There's been a lot going on here in my house. It's been crazy, crazy with um, a face-to-face um, -face local class here on Tuesday. My, uh, my weekend retreat starts a week from today. I've got bingo tonight. It's been a super busy, busy week. A little bit crazy, so. Excuse me for not knowing exactly which day it is. Kay, thank you so much for sharing my video. I appreciate that. Um, 
I think this is all I'm going to need right here. So I had intended to get one of these bags made before I came on camera and then do another one with you here. But we're just gonna make two uh, while we're here. And uh, just a reminder, I am sending out all of the projects from this week, but I decided that instead of sending them out every day, I'd keep them so I can show you the recap and then I will mail them all out. So what I'm doing is my Tuesday note is somewhere. Monday, it was um, comments four and 44, which I believe was Kim Crane and who is the other person? I can't remember. I've already, I've already drawn those names. I haven't drawn the other drawings yet. So today it's comment number 16 and 68. Wednesday, it was five and 48. So I put two numbers on a piece of paper and then uh, when I am done, then those go, uh, then I go through the comments that have a timestamp on them and then assign the person uh, who's going to receive it by mail. Bingo uh, is at the, I believe it's the last Thursday of March. I do my bingos on Zoom currently and probably just moving forward anyway because then wherever you are in the United States, you can join us. Um, so yes, I will post that. Um, I'm kind of scrambling to get everything, um, all of my signups. I've got my um, March classes ready to go and I just need to get them out there. Um, so get the links published. So uh, thanks for your interest, Simone. They're a lot of fun. Um, kind of changed up the way I'm doing things because you know we're doing it on Zoom. And um, so I have all um, gift certificates are what is being given away. And that way you get to choose whatever you want for your prizes, which I think is, you know, typically pretty popular. So uh, we're giving away lots of uh, gift certificates tonight and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, the one thing I don't, ah, oh, this is what I need. Now, I'm doing a bag, and therefore, I'm gonna show you how to do all these score lines. I did get the score lines done before I came on camera, but I will walk through step-by-step -step the score lines with you in just a moment. So let's take this, I'm starting with a 12 by eight inch piece of designer series paper, again, just kind of working through that designer paper, you know? We don't need to hoard this, we don't need to, you know, keep it stacked up. We need to use it. Use it. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And that's going to be a nice little cuff. And then what I'm going to do is just some paper snips. You know, typically when you're doing a box or a bag, you have one of these little skinny rectangles and you just get rid of it. That we don't need. We don't need that at all. And I'm going to just trim down this corner up here. Not essential, but just kind of makes it um, makes it uh, come together a little bit more easily. Now, let's see. Yep, yay, yay, everything is looking nice. So um, one of the things, because we're doing this kind of cuffed effect on our, on our bag, one of the things is if you will go back after you've stuck it down and really, really burnish those creases where the cuff is, then your bag has really sharp creases uh, because there's a lot of thickness there with the, um, with the cuff. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is add a little bit more and I am using the Stamp and Seal Plus. So this has the darker, um, guts, as it were, the wheel inside, um, and that is super, super strong adhesive, and anytime you're doing a box or a bag, you need to either use your Seal Plus or you need to use your um, um, tear and tape because you've got a lot of tension here with this. Hmm. That's not going to be good. Let's just, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put a glue dot there. Tell you what, glue dots may not silence my messages. Ay, ay, ay. I think it probably interrupted my. Okay, let me just stop for one second here and silence my phone so it doesn't. Um, Jackie, I'm glad that you are um, 
that you're excited about learning new techniques and things. Um, Simone, I do my bingo events at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. So if you're on the East Coast, it's 7.30 p.m. If you're on, um, you know, if you're on Mountain Time or Pacific Time, it's going to be a little bit earlier in the day. And uh, we start at 6.30 promptly. I open the bingo, the bingo meeting room, the Zoom meeting room an hour, um, not an hour ahead, 30 minutes ahead so that we can just kind of meet and greet everybody. You can get yourself situated so that, you know, if you've got any kind of hiccups with your Zoom, you're ready to go when bingo begins. Okay. That is much better. See how nicely, I mean, glue dots hold really, really well. Okay. So now all I'm going to do, uh, I forgot to do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is, see, when I talk, I can't talk and chew gum, so sometimes talking and stamping is a little bit challenging too. Okay, let's just, I, 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 I kind of messed that up. Okay, so this is really, you just need to, need to uh, focus first, and then you need to cut on the score lines. And because I didn't cut exactly on that score line, that's why I kind of, yeah, I messed that up. But it will be okay. I will make sure that one goes on the inside. I'm only going to put, I, put, I like to put the, the short ends in first, and then the one I messed up, it's kind of crooked. And then this one is the one that I will put a little bit of my um, seal adhesive down. Ay, 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 come on. This is my seal plus. There we go. And then I'm going to just press that in like so. And then I do like to, once I have the bag done, I like to just kind of press in on the inside. And then that is my little bag. And I'm going to just squeeze a little bit here. I'm not gonna press hard. And then I am going to take a little bit of ribbon to close my bag. Okay, Diane, you love the bags, yeah. It, yeah, you made one for a Christmas present, and yeah, people just, you know, they just, they have such a nice visual appeal. Now, the nice thing about this is because I'm just going to close it with a ribbon, I can open it when I'm ready and tuck inside some chocolates. I could put a hand lotion, I could put a hand sanitizer, any number of just small little gifties would fit in here. Um, I could even put just um, some little three by three inch, uh, Stampin' Up cards in here. Lots of different things that I could do. So I think just for, because I wanna be able to get back into this because I haven't filled it yet, I think uh, typically I would fill it and then I would add this afterwards. But because I'm doing this for demonstration, I think I'm going to go ahead and just tie it in a bow. And that way I can dig into it easily when I am finished and ready to tuck something in. This is the Paper Blooms, ay yi yi. <laughs> this is the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper, which is uh, just fun, um, bold patterns. Um, it's really nice, because it's really kind of soft colors, but they're all kind of um, pulled together with that Knight of Navy, and that makes, you know, big, bold colors. Kind of reminds me of a 60s look. And let's see. You know, I always, ah, oh, yay, I got it. I always put a knot before I put a bow. And I'm having trouble because, okay. And I did it upside down. So, okay. <laughs> Third time will be the charm. Let's do it this way, which is upside down for you, but it's gonna mean that my bow is right side up when I get the bag turned around. One more time. And this is the Seaside Spray Metallic Ribbon. Really, <sighs> I cannot tie this bow to save my life. I think I'm gonna do what I normally do, and that's make a little, I'm gonna make a little knot first. Let's make a knot, and then we'll make a bow. And I'll just fiddle with it when I need to open it. <laughs> See now, now I don't have to worry about my bow. Now the tension is no longer an issue, and then I can just tie my bow. Okay, so that's better. 
a lot of kerfuffle for that little bow. And it's not even a fancy bow. It's just a plain, plain bow. Okay. So there I have my sweet little bag. It's a nice size bag. I think I want to say the finished size to actually, you know, put something inside here is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Now I can have something that extends up into my cuff. And um, so when I, when I include that part, it's really five inches high. Sarah, you can put a rolled up blue dot under your knot and it makes it easier to tie the bow. Interesting, I'll have to give that a try. So now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a little wee message on here. And this is my simple version. I'm gonna do a stepped up version next. And I thought that because of the size of this bag, I think scale is important. And scale just means that when you have something small, I don't wanna have a huge greeting on it and vice versa. If I have something that's really large, I don't want to put a teeny tiny greeting on it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a small greeting and I went to Touch of Ink. Um, Touch of Ink is a stamp set you can get for free with a $100 order. Look at all these gorgeous stamps you get. And you have one, two, three, four all occasion greetings plus there's a little love word and a hope word. And so those are really, really nice. Um, I have taken the liberty of mounting my stamps first. And I'm just gonna use a black ink pad on a piece. I've just got a little scrap here of um, Seaside Spray because it matches my ribbon. And it picks up this soft blue that's in that paper. So let's just take um, I have thank you so very much and I have thinking of you. I think I'm gonna make this one into thank you so very much. So like for instance, if I wanted to, this is a little bit bigger than I thought. Um, I had my, um, when our internet was out last week, we did not lose power here at our house, thank God. Um, but we did lose internet, we had no internet at all. And, uh, but our neighbors across the street did. And so um, I asked her, I messaged her and said, hey, can I come by and um, just check, check my email really quick. And um, she said, sure. So, well, you know, I went over there, have it. it's, you know, they got their kids there, they got their grown kids there. And, you know, I'm intruding on their family evening. So I felt like, you know, if I wanted to do a little thank you bag, a little thank you gift in here, that's the perfect little something when you need just something small like that. So I'm going to flag this. If you haven't seen me do this before, my all time favorite way to make a flag is with our tailored tag punch because you have so much control. I'm just gonna feed this strip down into here and I can see where the stamping starts and I wanna pull away from that a little bit and then just center it and boom, I'm done. I mean, and I have this perfect flag. So I just think that that is my favorite way to make a flag. And I'm going to just pop that in like so. I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals on it and I can either do it at an angle or I may just do it, I kinda of like it going straight. It's kind of unexpected. So I can pop any number of things in here. I could put a couple of little tea lights in here could even put like a cookie or a granola bar or you know a little bit of chocolates and tea bags this would hold any number of things and there is my sweet little thank you so much little thank you gift bag and I'm gonna straighten that a little bit okay so there's my simple version now let's step it up and we're going to step it up and at the same time i'm going to walk you through how to score this little mini bag i love this because of the cute little cuff on the top and because the little soft squishy um, um closure means that i can access i can open it easily and it doesn't ruin the bag so whoever gets this is going to think this is such a cute bag and they're going to want to keep it and reuse it so i'm going to make that easy for them this time I'm gonna use the Field and Flower designer paper. This is a 12 by eight inch piece is what I am starting with. 
So let's get my paper trimmer out right here. Let me move my basket over so I can use, this will be a little bit easier. Now, I am going to hide that because I don't need it and I don't want to get confused. <laughs> And I do need this out because I've got um, some longer lines. Now I'm gonna start with the long side here and I am going to score at one and a half first. Let me feed it through this way. Feed it through here at one and a half. And I'm going to use my scoring blade, which is always the lighter colored one. The easy way to remember is the darker one has heavy pressure. It's a heavier color. The lighter one has lighter pressions, lighter impression, so it's a lighter color. And then I've got one and a half, and I will post these for you, but you're welcome to write five and three quarters. And I'm on the long side. And then I'm gonna go to seven and a quarter right here, and then I'm gonna to go to 11 and a half, almost to the very end, right there, okay? And again, I'm just using my scoring blade. Now I'm going to go to the short side, which means it's gonna go through the whole length of my paper trimmer, and I am going to score at one and a half, like so. And again, I'm using just, I, I always have to, you know, when I'm scoring on here, I kind of, I kind of want to pay attention to what I'm doing because I don't want to cut, I want to score. So I kind of really focus when I'm doing this. One and a half and then six and a half. And that's all the scoring that I need. And I need just one little tiny bit of trimming and then I'm ready to just fold and put it together. So. That is done, and I can put that away in my little desk here. Okay, so first of all, I am going to, before I start cutting anything, I am going to go ahead and turn down my cuff. Look at how pretty that is. Really nice um, contrast there. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down and I'm going to do that with my Seal Plus so that I have uh, a really strong hold. And then once that's done, now I'm gonna go ahead and just burnish all of my score lines. You know, the first time I, well, first couple of times I did this, um, I kind of did all the score lines first, but I do think that you kind of take one less step by doing it this way, and then you don't have to go back and do this. You can just do it really firmly as you're, you know, um, burnishing your lines from the get-go, as it were, and I'm all for saving a step. I don't know. I'm a bit of a lazy stamper. I like to do it quick and easy, so I'm always looking for a way that's gonna make it come together faster. And I think also when you have fewer steps, it's one less thing that can go wrong. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now I am ready to nip out this little guy here. And I don't think I am going to, well, maybe I will, let's see. That's gonna go there, and then here, I'm gonna do this before I glue it together. It's, you can do it after you, you know, after you've glued together. You know, I was kind of saving the day last time, just kind of showing you as well that if, if that happens, it's not the end of the world. And I think, you know, when this kind of folds up here and goes there, yeah, you really do kind of have to just, I think I'm just gonna leave that there and not, not try to do any fancy footwork. Okay, so now I'm going to put adhesive just on this little skinny flap here. And Kay, I'm glad you like this bag. You know, it's a great way to use your designer series paper. And I will say that um, because this uses an eight by four inch, sorry, eight by 12 inch piece of designer paper, um, one of our cards that we did, I think it was, 
this one here. This uses, um, I think this uses a 12 by four. So if this were the same pattern, you could do a card and bag out of one piece of designer series paper and that would be a really, really swift uh, use of your paper. And like I said, I'm on a bit of a mission here to uh, use my designer series paper and inspire you and empower you to do the same thing. Okay, so that is nice and stuck down. All I need to do is tuck in my two little flaps here and then put adhesive on this big long flap here. And again, I'm using um, tear and tape. Sorry, not tear and tape. I'm using Seal Plus. Tear and tape would definitely be your other option. Seal Plus to me is the quick and easy way to do it. Um, both are super strong adhesives and perfect for this little box. So you can see that before I um, kind of pinch this in and bring in the ribbon, that you can kind of see the size of the box compared to my hand. So yeah. It would fit, yeah, you could put a little compact in here. Yeah, lots of little useful things that would fit in here. Yeah, I like these dots too. Hey, Yolanda, I didn't see you were here. Okay, now let's see how we're going to dress this up. And I'm gonna need your design input because this one is simple. And we just took a little piece of ribbon and we put a little bit of uh, a little cardstock greeting on there. And um, I don't know if I like that on the side or not, can't decide. I was doing it upside down. Uh, I may end up repositioning that. Okay, so this time we are going to tie a ribbon around here and we have several options. So this gingham is super cute. This is part of the Flowers for All Seasons combo pack and it's just jade um, gingham, which kind of tie, well, definitely ties in with the just jade. Really cute with these polka dots and everything. Hey Linda, I'm glad to see you here. I could go with coming in with Just Jade again. Here is the solid Just Jade ribbon, which is, you know, tying in with that. So I'm gonna let you guys tell me what you're thinking there. I brought this, but I don't think it's the right color. Definitely not the light, right look either. So um, I could, this is actually, this twine takes the blue in there with a little bit of white. So I could go with just, you know, the twine is super skinny, a really different look, might look kind of cute. I think this twine is part of the same combo with this ribbon. So I will kind of wait while you're weighing in on that. And while you're weighing in on that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my greeting. And I'm gonna step it up because I'm gonna use punches this time. So I did the first one as a thank you, and if I can find my mounted stamp. You're right, the yellow might be really pretty. I couldn't lay my hand to any yellow ribbon when I was coming over here. The bumblebee ribbon would look great with this. I'm gonna use the thinking of you. So this would be kind of a little care package if I do the thinking of you. And I'm going to just grab a little piece of white cardstock here. And I'm gonna use my trusty tuxedo black ink pad. Super simple, doesn't need anything fancy. But we are going to step it up kind of with our embellishments and by adding a, um, a punch instead of just a strip. So this is a really pretty font in this. Um, you know, white would really be pretty too, you're right. And that's actually part of this collection. Let me grab the white, because I do have that handy. This is the white ribbon that is part of the collection. And that might actually be a really nice contrast. Um, we could even pair it with a little bit of this or with this because these are part of a combo pack. Um, so that might be a nice option. So that I am going to punch. If y'all don't have this yet, you definitely want to put this on your wish list or on your next order. Really need to go on an order because the 28th, which I believe is Sunday, is the last day of celebration. And so why not, when you're putting this on an order, then you can get something free at the same time. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and look at that. Look how nicely that fits. So I'm gonna punch that. It's going to go on my little bag. And I'm going to use a piece of black scrap and I'm gonna give it that nice little scalloped surround. So this is going to be like so. So yeah, I'm getting some, uh, Diane, I think your white is actually a good idea because this is a lot of dark colors. Even though it's kind of a bright springy look with the flowers, it's a lot of black. So I think that's actually a really good call. And I think that might be just the ticket. So let's go ahead and put this together. Yeah, Yolanda, this is a tremendous punch. It is the bomb. It is extremely useful. And I think just that little bit of scallop. And if, if you'll notice, this is more of what I would call, I'm gonna do this here just for uh, contrast so you can see it better. It's like a modern scallop. You see how the scallops aren't real like super rounded? They're almost like a soft point on there and uh, they just look a little bit more of, a, uh, of an updated, more modern version of a scallop. So uh, I, believe this, I believe the punch is called um, double oval, double oval punch and it is in the spring book. So I think we have decided that we are going to use the white ribbon to tie up this little guy. So let's see what we can do here by just adding a little bit of white ribbon. And just tie this up a wee bit. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this because it's gonna be easier to work with. And put some of these others away. Mary, I'm glad that you have got home in time to join us. We are on bag number two. This was our simple bag, and now we're doing a stepped up version of the same bag with a different piece of paper. Um, you know, we have so many cool papers right now that we can choose from. And I realize I keep kind of inching farther and farther down into the camera as I'm looking up at my computer. So let's just kind of clear this space a little bit so I can tackle this. This time I'm definitely going to do a little um, knot because with this thicker ribbon and this small bag, I definitely want a knot and not a bow. So let's just pinch that down a little bit. And then do a knot like so. Actually, I do have enough. I probably could do. Well, let's. You know what? Let's give the ribbon a. a let's give the the bow a try. So we'll do the knot first, and that's always my trick to, um, you know, just solve the issue of the tension. Is now done. I don't have to worry about how tight my ribbon is. Now I do have to tie this way. I haven't figured out how to tie a bow upside down yet without it looking upside down when I turn it around. So that's actually kind of cute. That's kind of cute. But let's try it this way and see if we don't get a little better. Oh, I do like the bow. Didn't think I was going to. I thought it was going to be too thick, but I do have to say I like the bow. And that's where you just kind of manipulate the loops a little bit till you get it to your liking. So I think one of the reasons I like the bow on there is because it really brings out the white in the flowers and you just need that, that shot of white in there, as it were. Brightens things up considerably. So yeah, and my computer's trying to install a new version of Adobe Flash Player. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so look there, that's gonna be super cute. I could put it up here, but I really like it down here, I think. And um, so I'm gonna just pop that up on a couple of dimensionals, and then let's see if we can add a little bit of bling. I am gonna put three dimensionals on here. Kim, thank you so much for sharing my video. That helps me tremendously and I greatly appreciate it. Um, this is gonna go just like so. You know, right now with, I mean, you know, I think because we have so much, um, 
so many issues with not being able to gather that the things people are going through seem much more, they're just much more challenging. And so, you know, if you have a neighbor who is going through a rough time or a neighbor who you're just thinking of, you know, you haven't been able to visit with him. Maybe you used to be able to go to coffee with him or something and you haven't been able to do that. This is that perfect size little bag to just tuck a few tea bags into, a little bit of chocolate, um, a pack of gum, um, a little envelope of, um, you know, a little sachet of soup or spices or anything like that. Um, could definitely even put you know, some nail polish in here. You could put a lipstick in here. Um, lots of different things. So let's just kind of do the finishing touch with adding a little bit of bling. And I think I just do not like the way this is working. I am going to redo this. And I'm going to add this. I think this little punch is like the perfect size for this bag. I... That's my very small, hmm. that's what I took off of the, that could almost work. <laughs> that's my little scrap, that could almost work, look at that. Um, I think that this, I had one, this is the scrap that I meant to use and I ended up doing it on a longer one. You know, maybe, if, there you go, I think I just needed to, um, I think what I didn't like, was the way that it was positioned. And yes, Betty, this bag is perfect for showing off both sides of your designer series paper. And you know, both sides are pretty, so why not give them both a little bit of air time, as it were. And um, let me see if I can locate, there's my other stamp, my little thank you very much. I think I'm gonna like this better when we do it this way. It was just kind of bugging me. I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I wouldn't be proud to give that bag. So I needed to kind of change it a little bit. So let's go back with this. And then we're going to add a little bling and a little bit of something, something, those little finishing touches that we love. And see, oh, that's so much better. Yeah. See if. Um, we can't just step it up another notch. So I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals here. And then, look how much I'm covering up. See, when I took that off, that's why I'm placing it there because I ripped my bag a little bit. That is just so much better. Oh, I like that so much better. Okay, now let's see. This is where I need to hear your input. Let me bring these up a little better so you can see them better and show you where I've got some options. Now, these are one of my absolute favorite embellishments in the holiday catalog because they have, not holiday, these were in the holiday catalog a year ago and they made it into our annual catalog this year and I absolutely love them. Look at these navy blue um, rhinestones. Look at that. Is that not just the bomb and works with our little bag here. So I think that these little navy rhinestones will just give us that little, see how that steps it up? Just that little something. And, um, oh, I'm glad you like my trick for the banner. I mean, I'm telling you, Kim, that's, it will just simplify your, your project so much. I have fiddled with banners for years and that is, that is my favorite, easiest way to banner. Now, over here, I've got a lot of options. These are the silver pearls from the metallic pearls. Could work. They would actually work really nicely there. Um, these are the rich razzleberry um, sequins. Actually, they would look much better here. So I think that's probably not going to be my favorite. Now, these black dots are perfect color, but I think they might get kind of lost in the shuffle. And um, the number, please, which one are you asking for the, uh, the number? Are you asking for the number of this punch, Simone, or the number of the, um, uh, what is this called? Tailored tag. Let me uh, just clarify that question for me, please. Now, 
This is an option that might look really pretty here. These are the, um, what are they called? So, pastel pearls. And this kind of soft, kind of silvery one here, this pink one here, really looks pretty with these colors in my view. So that is definitely an option as I'm kind of going through my little bag here. We could go with gold and that definitely kind of brings it much dressier, but I kind of think the kind of, um, the informal look of these kind of watercolored flowers, kind of haphazard look, I think these are a little bit too formal. Um, now these butterflies are an option, but they're pretty small and they might get lost because there's already a lot of pattern here. And um, then, yeah, a straight on pearl might work really well. Diane, I also have handy, these are really pretty. These are the opal rounds and they're kind of like a larger version of a pearl with an iridescent look. So I'm thinking that these, either these pink pearls or these opal rounds might work. Um, these would have maybe worked on the other bag. So while you guys are weighing in on that, um, let me just grab a, I have a, a spring catalog here. I don't have an annual catalog right here at my desk. Let me grab one real quick and get that number for Simone, that product number for her. bring this okay okay so either of these are getting uh some love here um some i think it's simone that was asking um this is the tailored tag punch it's item number one four five six six seven will seriously simplify your projects scrapbooking card making bag making anything that you want to have that cute little um flagged end it is the easiest way and you can do it all the way up into that width so and i like the fact that you can kind of pull it in and out so that you can decide if you want to make your flag right here if you want to go down you know you have just a lot of control when you're using this method okay let's see let's do a little final um final touch here i kind of put a bunch of these um embellishments in that little bag here, this little box. And that way they're just handy and whatever I wanna grab, it's right there. You know, that's awfully pretty. It adds a little bit of color. Let's try this though. Let's open this up and just see if we can go with, um, let's see if this is gonna look better or the pastel. I think we have to kind of pull it out to see it. Cause I will say these, because they're pearlescent, they, uh, they will pick up the color of whatever you put them on and um, really kind of shine. Oh, see how that's picking up the blues in there? I think this might be a good, I think this might be, instead of picking up on the um, pinks, it's picking up on the blues. But I think it almost looks better on the black. When you get it down here, it gets a little bit lost in the shuffle. You see how it's just kind of eh, where up here, it really, um, really picks up the color. So I think I'm just gonna do these three up here, which I would, I would think I'd be doing it down here, um, like I did over here. So there are, again, I keep going too far down in the camera, but I think that's, uh, I think they're pretty cute. So tell me what you think. These are gonna, uh, I think I'm, gonna, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna mail these or if I'm gonna do a product. Um, I might do a product um, giveaway today. So um, I will draw from comments again, as I've been doing. Um, these might be a little bit squashed in the mail, although, well, I'll kind of I'll kind of mess with them and see if they would mail easy or if I would do better to send you a product. So every day I'm doing giveaways. And uh, most days I'm giving away the projects that we make. 
but if I can't give away projects because they don't mail easily, then I can give away some product. And I think also I was asking for feedback the other day and said, what would you guys rather have as a little prize, as a little gift from Facebook Live? And most people said they would like to have uh, the finished projects, but I had a few people that said, yeah, I would really like to have the product. So, um, you know, I think being able to change it up a little bit is ideal. And so maybe we will just do product this time. And I think if I were going to do product for something like this as a free giveaway, what might be kind of fun is to give away a little grab bag of embellishments so that I could gift to a couple of our commenters here today, um, you know, a little grab bag with some of a lot of different embellishments. And that way you can have a little a little bag to just kind of pull out and say, okay, you know, what shall I add? What little something something shall I add? Sorry about that, to my project. I'm tidying up, which is something I don't do nearly enough of. So I gotta kind of seize the moment while I'm doing it. Again, this is my simple and my stepped up bag. Um, made with a 12 by 8 piece of designer series paper. I will post the um, score marks for you so that you can easily um, reproduce these. And yes, it's a, um, ay, 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 did I just, yay, it's that crazy thing coming up asking me to update my Adobe player. I think I just ended it. <laughs> I think I just X'd out you guys. knocked me out okay my computer it's it showed me as having left okay well I'm glad I'm still here with you because I thought you know what I don't even get to say goodbye to you <coughs> sorry about that crazy my computer kept saying you know I was trying to just get rid of that thing and then it said this video has ended and I went oh lovely <laughs> well I'm glad that I'm still here and I'm glad you're still here so we have simple and we have stepped up bags today, just little bags with little scrunchy tops, just to do that little something something. So use your designer series paper. This is a 12 by eight piece. And if you wanted to use that four by eight piece, you could do one of these triple time layered cards and then you'd have the card and the bag. And um, you know, to be able to put both of these items at somebody's door. Um, or I know that some people right now depending on how much you see people outside of your little bubble. Um, you know, some people are doing like little drive-bys for birthday parties and graduation parties and all kinds of things. So this would be a cute little bag to just do a little drive-by. Or if you are going to a, um, if you regularly go to maybe like a Chick-fil-A or a Whataburger or something, Starbucks and you're in line, this would be one of those little things, those little, um, blessing bags that you could give somebody just to say thank you so much for being out here and serving our community yes it's their job but um it's a little bit challenging being dealing with the public right now so little little bags uh simple and stepped up uh, like i said i will post the uh, dimensions for you thank you so much for being here today for simple and stepped up stamping i'll be here with you again tomorrow Friday for day number five on my seven days of consecutive Facebook Lives. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your enthusiasm for all things paper crafting. And um, don't forget, if you have a mind to share my video on your Facebook, that would be really, really helpful. 
and um, I will uh, post my my measurements. And that is it. Some of you, I think I will see on bingo tonight. So I have Zoom bingo. I will get my uh, March Zoom bingo posted so that uh, those of you who uh, would like to join us on bingo, on Zoom for bingo, it's a lot of fun, uh, can do so. Thank you so much again. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.